Hello and welcome to the tutorial on odd and even numbers. In this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 100. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to explain and go through each of the odd numbers in single digits. Now the best way to do this is to use the number line. Now we've done this before so this will be good practice. Our number line starts from 0 and we're going to keep on going 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So that is our number line. Which runs from 0 to 9. And now we're going to populate all the odd and even numbers. Let's start with zero. Now zero, do you think that's odd or even? You should know this by now, it's good practice, it is even. And now counting in twos, all of those numbers are even. So we start at zero, we go on to two, that is even. After two comes four, that is even. After four, it's six. And which is the last even number? That's right, it is 8. And now we're going to do the odd numbers. If all of these are even, all the other numbers are odd. So the, we start with 1, and again we count in 2's. The next one is 3. After 3 comes 5. Then it's 7, and the last odd number is 9. So those are all the odd and even numbers as we populated on the number line. What we're going to do now is we're just going to drop these down over here. So all the even numbers are, let's write them down, it's 0. Count in twos, so it's two, four, six, and eight. Now how about the odd numbers? One, three, five, seven, and nine. So those are all the odd and the even numbers. Now by now you should know all of this and you should be able to write down all the even and the odd numbers uh, up to, uh, f sorry, from number 0 to 9. So let's work through a few questions and see whether the numbers are odd or even. How about we have this number here? We've got 55. Now, as we've said many times before, this number, we can ignore it. This digit, we can ignore it. That's the 5. We're interested in the units. In this case, the units is... 5. Now where does 5 appear on our chart? Does it appear in the even or the odd columns? It appears in the odd column. Here it is. So the number 5 is odd, therefore 55. 55 is odd. Now let's work through another one. Suppose this time we have number 82. Now what is 82? Is that an odd number or an even number? Now the 8 in 82, ignore it. Just concentrate on the units. The 2. Now is 2 an odd number or an even number? Well 2 is an even number. Here it is. Therefore if 2 is an even number, then 82 is also an even number. Okay, the next one, 97. Now, what do you think 97 is? Again, ignore the 9, concentrate on the 7. The 7 is the units. Where does 7 appear on our chart? Is it odd or even? Well, 7 is over here. If 7 is an odd number, then 97 is also an odd number. Okay, we're going to do a few more, and this time... 
I want you to shout out the answer before we work through it. 64. What do you think 64 is? Have you made a guess? Good. Well, where does the 4 appear? This is the 4 over here. This appears over here. And if 4 is an even number, then 64 is also an even number. Right, here's the next one for you. 59. What do you think 59 is? Is it an odd number or an even number? Have you made a guess? Great! I'm going to work through this. I'm going to ignore the 5 and I'm going to concentrate on the 9, which is the units. Where does 9 appear on the chart? It's over here. So 9 is an odd number, therefore 59 is an odd number. And here is the last one for you to work through. Suppose you've got this one. 76. Now what do you think 76 is? Have you done it? Great. I'm going to work through this. I'm going to ignore the 7. I'm going to concentrate on the 6. The 6 is the units. Where does 6 appear on our chart? It's over here. 6 is an even number. Therefore, 76 is an even number. And that is how we work out odd and even numbers up to 100. If you know the odd and even numbers from 0 to 9, you can work out the odd and even numbers for any number.